Happy Holidays and Merry Christmas. You're watching Drakewing Gaming. Oh, one moment. And... Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Never here from Drakewing Gaming. It's Sylvie Man, I'm the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a new Let's Play series on Endless Labyrinth of Night Roads. As you can see, this is by the same artist that has worked on... Uh, no more future, obviously. The very the exact same, basically the exact same art style. I love it. It's a very distinctive style, and I'm very much looking forward to this. Apparently, this is a kind of a kind of a short, uh, short little uh, visual novel. That's fine. It's like a like half an hour or something like that. It's got two chapters. So yeah, I'm bringing out for bringing y'all a little bite sized visual novel. Why not? Let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Alarm, Chan, you are up, and let's go. Oh wow. Several of these, okay. There's gonna be four. All right, so chapter one. Volume one. Chapter one. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Oh, man. Ooh, y'all, we in for a treat with this one. Click, do I click? Yes, I click, okay. Oh, this is so cool. High production, val high production quality, y'all. Ooh, that's pretty. What a nice background. Strange looking vehicle. It's so long. A few years back, I wouldn't have thought I'd ever come back home. Longing for a life I didn't have felt more natural than living on my own. In a way, I got what I desired, minus the romanticism of teen years, of course. Nowadays, I look back on those days with a strange sense of nostalgia. Ooh, pretty. Oh. Three donuts, two cups of bubble tea, and ring, ring. Old Coyote Diner, how can I help you? Having a nice night shift birthday, girl. Jeremy, where are you calling from? Oh, you know, some gas station near the Antillian countryside, heading home. Can't miss an opportunity to give my big sis a funky present from some local shop no one's heard about. Of course you do. Think you'll be able to get here before the end of the day? Something tells me that I'll be able to. From here, I can take the 57th Highway Road to save some time before the main path. It's the equivalent of about 300 kilometers in less than 15 minutes. Mark my words, I'm dead tired from longer ones. You really need to rest for a bit. You've been taking one gig right after another for, what, two to three months now? Speaking of, uh, I'm gonna do just so. I'm taking a little vacation for a couple weeks. Collect some thoughts and such. Just... Please, when showcasing your so-called collection, give me a warning beforehand. And I'll at least make some coffee so you don't go killing your throat by talking for hours without a seeming end. Huh, you don't say. Actually, wait just a second. I'm just about to order some. You do remember that I'm at work, right? I can't spend the rest of my shift chatting on the phone. Jeremy? For Wolf's sake. Wait, for Wolf's sake? Is Wolf the name of a god in this? Ding. Um, one second. Sorry to keep you waiting. What would you like to... Can I have some coffee? You! I... Come here! Wow, every time I see... Wow, every time I see you, your neck gets fluffier and fluffier. Well, you know how it is for someone as young as me alongside the drifters. Neck fluff makes me seem older. Yeah, it sure does. Doubt. Ouch! Sorry, a little static electricity after the Twilight Highway. Eh, it's all right. Think you But hey, as much as I'm excited to see you, you must be tired after the long road, and I still have about an hour before the end of the shift. It might be better for you to go without me. Well, you're only partially right, but on top of it, on top of being tired, I'm also ravenous. Is this place's apple pie as good as it used to be? Sure is. Then I'll have it. And some tea. Not coffee? I swear, if I drink any more caffeine today, I'll start moving at the speed of light. Okay, I'll hide the coffee pot. Uh, much appreciate. Much appreciated. Hmm. Feels like we were hanging out, out here as teens just yesterday. You're all moody and I'm all, oh no, college preparations, teen stuff things. What was I even into back then? Uh, music? Plants? Uh, musical plants? I mean, yeah, but back then all the school stuff didn't really give me much opportunity for those. 
With maybe the exception of music class, but you know how it is. Yep, school, the soul sucker that kills passion toward anything it tries to teach you. What's that I hear? Cynicism? Has this place reminded you about your dark ages? I guess kinda. I still have those petty frustrations of old, but I'm starting to see the value of all the memories I have of this little town. Hanging out at, hanging out at night in this very diner with Mike and being amazed by the conquerors of the Twilight Highway. Last breaths of a legendary generation. Now I'm closer to being one of them than I've ever been before, and yet it's still hard to imagine how exciting it must have been to truly explore such a mysterious place. Nowadays we're just glorified delivery boys, opportunistic travelers, and silhouettes of lost spirits. Hey, stop undermining yourself so much. The majority of us live our entire lives never traveling through it even once, be it because of our own safety concerns or just because of having no means to. Meanwhile, you have the entire world in your hands. Say, say that to car maintenance prices. My point stands. Oh, excuse me, looks like I have to work a bit. Oh, Damn it! Making me sad for the puppers. Seems like he caught some attention from a lovely couple at your old table. <clears throat> that is an insanely long number, what the fuck? Attention, are we... Hey, Cass, can you give me a pen? Here you go. Huh? Aww. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, they want some of that dick? When did you become such a heartbreaker? I have better things to do than indulging a pair of rom-com caricatures in one night stands. My preference for this night is more of a quiet and peaceful one, without flirting at that. But yeah, they really they weren't really upset. Yeah, don't worry, it's far from the first time I've seen Chloe and Brandon being turned away by, 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 turned away by a drifter. You're not even the first one this week. Their names sound a bit familiar. No wonder, you were classmates for the last few years of school. Were we? Oh damn, you really don't remember? My memory of those times is hazy, a lot of frustration and overall teen energy. I was basically a different person back then. Definitely at least in terms of looks. And no wonder Chloe and Brandon didn't recognize you. I thought that everyone from my class either moved out of town or got into uni. Well, almost. I heard that at least one of them works at that old greenhouse. Nice job. Nice job. Lover. Comfy home. Everything one needs for a, for a nice life. Hmm, is that so? They come here pretty often. You might not believe it, but sometimes a little couple's charm gets the better of folks. Yeah, I guess I'm just not really a flirt guy. There's no such thing as a flirt guy. Uh, pretty sure there is. Uh, then not tonight. I'm stealing flirt guy from the worldwide vocabulary. I... What are you even talking? What are we even talking about? Huh, you know, me and Terry met in a kind of similar way. They weren't a frequent visitor here, but they popped up from time to time, mostly near the end of my shift. One morning, they came to have some pie and coffee. And we chatted for a while, and before noticing that it was time for them to go off on their daily routine, they gave me their number to meet up a bit later and have some coffee. Neither of us understood, though, and then understood that we were kind of on a date before the very end of it. The rest is history. Hmm, have you decided on a date? Not really. We only know that we want to have want to have it out on the open, near the sea. Marriage was never something I had in mind going into this relationship, but somehow we ended up here. Can't complain. And here's your pie. It's precious. <laughs> Just like the ones that Ken Quentin baked. Speaking about stuff that sometimes can be too sweet for its own good. Say, how long has it been since you've visited Whispering Peaks? Oh. Oh! Do I, I get choices here? Sounds like an elf. Choices. Alright. 
Just like the ones that Quentin baked after we harvested some of the early apples at that farm a bit farther away from town? Oh, right, you tried to do that trick you saw on TV where you play on a leaf. A perfect combination of plants and music. Have you gotten any better at it since then? Uh, well, you see... Yeah? Okay, let me just try it right now and you'll see for yourself. Let's never talk about it again. I hope no one saw me doing that. This was delicious. I wanna go back and fix something. Speaking about stuff that sometimes can be too sweet for its own good. Speaking about stuff that can sometimes be too sweet for its own good, have you watched that new Star Pup movie? Okay, firstly, don't just bring up anything from mystery comics when I'm trying to eat. Especially when we talk about the Star Dog mythos, cause because you'll talk about it for seemingly an eternity, and then end it on the disaster of that one writer's run where you aged up Super Pup to near adulthood and then sent him to hang out with a bunch of randos in the future. So, you want to hear me go on? Because it, uh, it's only the tip of the iceberg. Can you just say if you like the movie? Oh, it was surprisingly spectacular, especially so considering it had a similar structure to a story that comes after Super Sibling Saga. And minus Snake Team, the steam... The steam machine's superpowers coming from the same solar phenomenon as Super Pup's old man's ones. Jesus Christ, that is a loaded sentence. Their stuff's gonna be strange if they don't reshuffle every something in the sequel centered around Strange Mirage and Deranged College. Deranged Collage? De That's a fucking hero name? Deranged Collage? What? Uh. Aha! She's losing her mind listening to this shit. So, hey, how long have been since you visited Whispering Peaks? Hmm, thinking about arranging your wedding there? I mean, I would love to, but it's so far away by, reg by regular means of transportation, and no offense, but I doubt that even half of my short guest list will agree to travel to the Twilight Highway, uh, and untaken. Well, it's not really close to the main Twilight infrastructure, so it would take a few additional hours to travel between each connection. I've driven past it a few times, but never stuck around. Local houses there have those nice sound sound of wind thingies. Yeah, there's a book Terry recommended me to read a while ago about some creatures living inside those wind chimes as spirits or something. Do they eat spaghetti? What? I don't know, I feel like it would be easier to care about such abstract creatures if they would eat spaghetti. Well, I mean, they can eat the sound of spaghetti. And what's that? I don't know, a bunch of pasta thrown against a wall? TLDR, is that what they eat? TLDR, is that they eat only sounds? I see, so what's the main drive of the story? Eh, I read only the first few chapters. It's such a strange prose to it, but also some beautiful descriptions and photos of Whispering Peaks landscapes. Kinda feels like a place where you can live outside of time itself. So, no internet. No internet. This was delicious. Jesse, my savior! Yeah, yeah, you're free from this nocturnal trap of yours for another couple days, my lady. Have a nice birthday and send my greetings to the connoisseur's pair of ears. Terry complimented a few of your band songs, but don't feel like a rock star just yet. What about the? What about two more songs? Make it an out. Make it albums, and we'll see. Yeah, fair enough. Okay, Jer, let's get going. Huh? Wait, he's her brother? Would you like to ask that now? You, uh, realize that you said that out loud, right? Uh, my question stands. Man, I love the style of this. Alright, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Before I go, I'm going to give a quick shout-out to our lovely bronze tier patrons. Thank y'all for all you do for the channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you to our silver tier patron, Cade Silvermoon. Thank you for going a bit above and beyond. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you to our gold tier patron, Amr. You're awesome. We love you. Thank you for subbing to Ultimate Tier. Anyway, if y'all want to get your names in the credits, get access to our not safe for work content as little as $5. Alrighty, I love you all, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye bye